Hi hey guys, we're on a little knob out here in the middle of an old clear cut, surrounded by dead grasses. Uh, it's early, well, it's mid-October, late October actually, and all the grasses are dead, but deer still eat those dead grasses just like cattle do. And on this little pine knob here, big pine tree right behind us here, uh, a buck has spent some time. Uh, he, can, he probably laid right here. It's a wonderful spot here. He can lay here and nothing can get close to him without him seeing them a good distance off. So kind of a smart place to lay down. But this is not a regular bedding area. But, but we know it's a big buck because his droppings are all in these clumps. They're clumped. And the ones that aren't really pressed down much are three quarter of an inch long. Maybe just a tish longer than that. Meaning this is a really good sized buck here. Yeah, wherever I get... Wherever I measure one that, if they all come out, well that one's a little more than a three quarter, but that was a nice buck, and uh, I'd say he had la it laid here, or and probably made these droppings shortly after his standing up, uh, probably a week or so ago. It's still damp and, and uh, soft on that inner side of those droppings. So, wonderful spot for this. Well, we've taken one buck from this clear cut, one not too far from here. My grandson got, has got a blind over this way and uh, made a nice shot here and got his first buck here. And, uh, but look at this beautiful place here. Gorgeous, a good place to hunt. Uh, we found plenty of fresh sign of does and, uh, and ponds in the area. There's probably at least six, seven deer that are feeding in this clear cut regularly. So this makes a great stand site. My son John just got done amending his brush pile up there. That's a tree stand which you can't even see. Really a nice spot. And we're gonna go over and check my grandson Jimmy's stand area in just a few minutes. And the trail's going back. So anyway, wherever we've gone the last few days, we find good sign uh, that, uh, just about anywhere we want to hunt, we can hunt and expect to see a good sized buck. This makes, I think, number four big buck since we started uh, scouting. And that's, I think, about one or two more than we found in this area last year. So something to be excited about. Well, wish us good luck and good luck to you. Okay, in our preseason scouting, this is a, an exact spot where Doc was sitting talking about how we spotted some uh, clump droppings of a, a younger buck. Uh, this is the buck and I got him. And it's year 2016, um, Wednesday, November 8th? 9th. 9th. Wednesday, November 9th, and uh, my ground blind is just right up there. And when I got there this morning at 7 a.m. before legal shooting, the buck was bedded right below the lip, right over there, and he heard me just 10 yards behind him up there. Got nervous, hopped out here, and uh, he wasn't able to identify me. And he ran off on the clear cut this way and he kept stopping. So I knew he, he didn't positively identify me as a human. He knew there was something there, but he didn't know what. And I happened to have in my pack a couple of uh, uh, deer racks that I could uh, rattle with. So I got those on and started rattling. Well, that was enough to scare him and he took off. But um, he probably thought it was another buck at that point. Well, about. Two hours later, well, it was about 8.45, he had circled around without me knowing it and got right beneath me again, right where he was bedded. And he walked out a little bit right there, and then I shot him, and this is where he ended up, right here. So, <laughs> not the greatest story, not the biggest buck, but it was fun. And I kept thinking through uh, one of my dad's lines always. He, he always talks about how whether deer positively identify you or not, 
And this was a case where I knew he hadn't positively identified me. And I used that to my advantage and ended up getting him because of it. I didn't take a wild shot or shoot illegally before legal shooting hours or anything like that. So I waited, took my chance, and it worked out. So anyhow, I'm happy.